Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we're looking at the 5th grade concept of graphing on the coordinate plane and we will do it in 5 minutes or less. So you might have heard this phrase, ordered pairs. And what you might see would be some numbers, two numbers specifically, within parentheses separated by a comma. So a few examples might be 3 comma 12, 4 comma 7, 10 comma 10, and 0 comma 3. What exactly does it mean to put those numbers onto a coordinate plane? Well, what you see over here on the right, this is what we call a coordinate plane. It is a grid of equally spaced lines that intersect with each other. You see on the very bottom, we're starting at 0, and it counts in this place all the way up to 19, but the arrow at the right means it goes on forever. If we had a bigger screen, we can go up to 20, 25, 30. It doesn't necessarily stop. And then going up and down, we have starting from 0, it also goes up to 19, but the arrow at the top lets us know it continues on. That's just as big as we can put on the screen at this time. What you should notice is we have two letters on the screen. This X down here refers to the X axis, and it is horizontal. It goes side to side. So this line right here that goes all the way across the bottom here, that is known as the X axis. So you probably guess the Y axis is the vertical line. It starts at zero and goes all the way up top here. And what we have are these numbers, these ordered pairs, sit somewhere between the x-axis and the y-axis. One other thing to note is right here in this corner where the x-axis and the y-axis meet. That is called the origin. That has a very specific name because its coordinates are 0, 0. Because on the x-axis, it is at the 0, and at the y-axis, it is at the 0. So it is where the x-axis and the y-axis meet. So if we wanted to put some of these ordered pairs onto our coordinate plane here, what we do is we look at the first number first. And if you think alphabetically, the first number, 3, is going to refer to its x-coordinate. So what we do is we look on our x-axis vertically on the bottom, and we count over 1, 2, 3. And then we kind of fix that in our mind. And then we're going to count up 12, because that is y, and x always comes before y. So the 3 is going to come before the 12. So if we have a 3, we're going to follow this 3 all the way up to 12. We're going to put a little dot right there. And if we wanted to plot the ordered pair 3, 12, that's where it would go. So with 10, 10, we're going to go over 10 first. You always go over first. So you go over 10 right here. Then we're going to go up to 10 and then we're going to get our point. And sometimes these points will make a pattern, sometimes they're random. In this case, I just pick some random ordered pairs. So 4, 7, we go over 4, and then we're going to go up 7. Now this last one, 0, 3, we go over 0, which means our answer is going to be on this y-axis because it is at the 0 x-coordinate. I didn't move over at all. I'm going to go up 3, but 0, 3 actually sits right there because it's actually on the y-axis. Now it's time for you to try. I've plotted 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 different points on the grid. Go ahead, take a piece of paper, and write out the coordinates that match those 5 points. When you have your answer, go ahead and unpause the video and check your work. We'll start with this first point right here. It is on the intersection between the x and the y axis. So hopefully remember that coordinate is 0, comma 0. Remember it has a special name. It is called the origin. This dot right here, you see it's on the same line as the 7 on our x axis. So it's going to be 7 and it's up 1, 2, 3, 4. So that's 7, comma 4. This dot right here. If you trace the line down, it is over 11 and it is up 10. So we can call that 11, 10. We have right here, we have 4, 15. And then our final one way out here on the side is 18, 16.